Hello and welcome back to Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I'm Jane DeGraff. And today we are making Japanese pancakes, also known as okonomiyaki. And I love this dish because it lets you use up all the leftover vegetables that you have in your fridge. And all you need to do is hold it together with some eggs and a few other bits and pieces. It's a very simple dish. So let's get started. Over here in my bowl, I have the leftover veggies that I would like to use up, which includes some red cabbage, some white cabbage, some corn kernels, some onion that I've cooked down for sweetness, and then some fresh spring onion, which I haven't cooked down because I want some bite in there too. I'm going to mix that all together in my bowl just to bring all those colours and flavours together. Mix that all the way through. There we go. And now I have some plain flour and some baking powder in this bowl and all I'm going to do is sift that over the top, mix it all together to coat all the vegetables in the flour and then I'm going to whisk my eggs. So this is a pancake batter where we don't mix the flour with the eggs, which is what we usually do. And even better, you don't need milk to make this recipe. So in this bowl here, I have four eggs, which I'm just going to whisk up. And then to that, I'm going to add a big tablespoon of miso paste. Now I'm using white miso paste, but you can use whatever miso paste you can get your hands on. I happen to like the slightly lighter flavour of the white miso. And that just puts all our beautiful salty, umami, nutty flavours into our eggs. So give that a good whisk. And then into that, I'm going to pour my vegetables and mix it all through. So you can see it's coming together beautifully and it's starting to form a sticky batter around our vegetables, which is exactly what we're looking for. There we go, that looks pretty good to me. Sticking together beautifully. Now all we're gonna do is fry off nice spoonfuls of that in a fry pan with some olive oil until we have our pancakes. Once our olive oil has heated in the pan, all we're going to do is take large spoonfuls of our vegetable batter mix, pop it into the pan, cook it on one side and then flip it over. This batter makes about four large pancakes, but it really depends on the size that you want to make them. You can make them big, you can make them small. It's entirely up to you and whatever you think your family would like to eat. So I'm going to pop this one in and spread it out. It's like a big fritter. All right, well this pancake looks like it's ready to flip. So, here we go. Look at that. Crispy and golden on the outside and all those veggies steaming away in the middle. And now we simply repeat until all our batter is used up. All right, that's our last pancake and it looks done to me. So we'll just, yep, looks pretty good. We'll pop him straight onto our plate. And it's time to garnish and dress our pancake. Now, what I have here is some Japanese mayonnaise and some teriyaki sauce. And I've mixed those together to make a dipping sauce for our pancake. But I have also popped some into a little bag to pipe on top like this. Fancy, hey? Look at that. So beautiful. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some spring onions over the top. How good does that look? So much fun. Now, really, I love this dish because, like I said before, you can actually put in any veggies that you want to use up from the fridge or anything that your family particularly loves. So if you've got some broccoli, chop it up really small and put it through. Anything like that, bits of carrot, whatever your family likes. Serve it with your dipping sauce, and there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me for Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen, Japanese Pancake Edition. And now, all that is left to do is have a taste test. I will see you next time. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. <laughs>